bring stories of hope. Right now, Louisville Mayor Greg Fisher is presenting his budget address, and it's not a pretty picture during the pandemic. WHS 11's political editor Chris Williams is joining us live from downtown Louisville with details in the proposal. It includes a major cut and fears of what that will mean to local citizens. Chris? Mayor Fisher blames COVID-19 shortfalls for creating a deficit three times the size of the one that triggered heated debates and cuts last year and he's calling for people to contact the federal government, ask them for some flexibility in spending some of that bailout money so that the city doesn't have to consider laying off 20% of its workforce. Since Healthy at Home orders began, he said city coffers have come up $46 million short, and that number is expected to be $69 million next fiscal year. So starting the new year on July 1st, Mayor Fisher expects his budget to be $115 million short. Where do you make up that kind of cash? You simply cannot. The mayor is making a hard push for people to contact their federal lawmakers. D.C. has given Louisville $137 million for coronavirus response reimbursement only. Mayor Fisher hopes citizens will convince lawmakers to allow for flexibility in spending that money. Rules prevent Metro from using it to fund other services, which is a large portion of the annual budget. If things are not worked out by October 1st, the mayor said they'll have to consider potentially laying off 1,000 employees, or about 20 percent of city workers. And one thing you won't see is a tax increase. Both the mayor and the council president, David James, said that's off the table. They can't imagine trying to do that with people in these uncertain times. Tonight, since we're going to look deeper into the budget address and what the mayor intends to do to get the economy rolling again. Live in Louisville, Chris Williams, WHAS 11 News.